every single time we ask the AI, hey, draw this for me and do it this, this, this way. But this time the role are reversed where the artist is commissioned by ChatGPT to draw something. I just get the interpretation that usually the AI does, but this time I do because I'm the artist in this confrontation. So let's see how I will do. Hello my friends, how are you? I hope that you feel very nice today. We are exploring the mind of the artificial intelligence. I wanted to see if this AI could give me an idea for an illustration. So I went to this website called ChatGPT and I managed to message a little bit before I asked the question. Hey, give me some ideas for an illustration. The AI just gave me a full list that was very cool by the way but at that moment i wanted to let the computer decide choose one of them of the ones that you have already told me and elaborate a little bit more so in the list there was this prompt a stylized portrait of a person with a mix of realistic and abstract elements i really liked that one and also i think that the chat really liked that one because when i asked hey can you elaborate one of them it actually chose that one the third option so after i asked that this is what i got this illustration would be a portrait of a single person with a focus on capturing their likeness and unique features the style could be a mix of realistic and abstract elements, such as the use of bold lines and shapes to create a sense of movement or emotion. The background could also be abstract, with splashes of color and patterns that complement the subject's features and clothing. The composition of the illustration could be dynamic, with the subject's gaze and body language conveying a specific mood or message. The use of light and shadow could also be used to add depth and dimension to the portrait. It could be monochromatic or full of colors, depending on the message that you want to convey. Additionally, you could add some details such as jewelry or props that give a hint about the person's personality, profession or hobbies. After all these prompts, there was only one thing that I needed to have in order to draw this. And it was the description of the person. So I asked the chat, hey, can you elaborate a little bit for me? Just play, pretty please. And the AI responded this with a whole giant text. The person in the illustration is a young woman with long, curly hair that falls in loose waves around her shoulders. She has a warm and friendly smile, with a small dimple on her left cheek. Her eyes are large and expressive, with a hint of a mischievous glint. She is dressed in a bold, colorful patterned dress that flatters her figure. The dress has a flowy skirt and a fitted bodice, with a deep V-neckline that shows a hint of cleavage. She is wearing a pair of large hoop earrings that dangle from her ears, and a matching bangle on her wrist. She is posing with her head tilted slightly to one side her shoulders relaxed, and her hands resting on her hips. Her body language conveys a sense of confidence and self-assurance. In the background, there are abstract shapes and patterns in shades of pink, orange, and yellow that complement the colors of her dress. The colors and shapes create a sense of movement and energy, and add a playful, dreamy feel to the illustration. Beautiful. So, I was satisfied with the description that I got from the AI. So. At that moment, I took every single detail that I could read and put it into my sketchbook. Doing this really helps me to take every single element and put it into the drawing correctly because sometimes I just forget about small details and I really hope that I didn't forget anything for this one, <laughs> but you will tell me if I missed something, but I don't think so. But you can see that I started this drawing and I was already going very in an abstract way because I got really inspired by the realistic slash abstract kind of feeling that the chat wanted me to give to this illustration. And I was like, mm -hmm. this, this, this is a vibe. I really like this. Let's go. Yes, chat GPT, you know where the creativity is going. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> I began and drew quite a lot with colors already. I got really inspired by the dress that it has described to me because it was chef kiss. It was, mm, I love that kind of dress. So <laughs> yes, let's go. So I drew colors and everywhere. And then I managed to struggle quite a lot on the face because it's the first time actually that I drew a dimple. I 
was very baffled by it and I didn't remember one time that I drew on the multitude of faces that I drew in my life I never drew a dimple it's so cute why didn't I so I was very confused so I was very grateful that the chat told me draw a dimple on her left cheek and I was like you are right I never did that thank you <laughs> and so you can see that I struggled quite a little bit on the face trying to do all the muscle that could like result in a dimple I never did that so I was like I really hope that this is the correct way to draw a face with like a dimple muscle I don't even know where it is the muscle that that does the dimple so I had so much fun especially with the hair it was a blast drawing them very flowy curly I always love to draw curly hair because they just go everywhere and they are like so fun so I just drew and drew and drew like like that mm, love that I tried to draw large eyes as the chat asked but it was a little bit difficult i don't know why but i struggle a little bit um so i just left it for a little and then went onto the body and then came back onto the face because i wanted to adjust that especially the, the eyes didn't come out like immediately but eventually at some point it did so let's Trust the process. I always say that when something that you draw, it's not looking the way you want, just leave it for a minute and then come back and then it will always be better than just throwing away the illustration slash paper slash everything that you're making. So I went on there again by the end and you will see I managed to do something <laughs> about it. Also the pose, I wanted it to be relaxed and I wanted to draw like a cool pose but not too cool like in a between. Especially I really like the fact that there is a hand right here showing off the bracelet that should match with the earrings. So mm -hmm, we like that. And then after that I went into my favorite phase of the drawing, just smashing up patterns because I needed to use patterns and I took those and put it one on the dress of course and one also in the back because I really liked the idea of taking the protagonist and making her look like she belongs also into the background like a very mixed match of the front and the back I really like that idea usually also so this was great with the patterns was a very confusing mismatch after that i went crazy with colors i took the orange took the yellow and took the pink and put it everywhere and just like psh, 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 psh. it didn't <laughs> it it needed to be everywhere okay because the chat says so and so the chat is the mastermind and so i need to follow the mastermind because i'm the mere hand of this chat for this time and so i went and plastered all the colors together and yes um, this is the final result i think that i got everything that the chat told me to and i was really proud of everything that came out by the end even though i struggled a little bit in the middle but i kept going and it was a good choice i think right what do you think i think so i will show you in a zoom this is the face look at her she i wanted to give her like almost a mona lisa vibe I don't know especially with the eyes that maybe you don't know what they're saying they're happy they're not they're mischievous mischievous is that the right pronunciation mischievous okay are they like happy they are looking at you with comfort or not they're like sneaky i wanted to give a little bit of that feeling and also look at the skin especially on the hand i love how it came out because like with the orange 
with the yellows and the purple yeah purple um pinks especially i loved to do the outline in pink oh my god very fun 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 yeah i enjoyed it but yeah let me know talk to me tell me did you like it did you enjoy the fact that i took the description would you have done something else or what like interpretation of a text is always like very personal so i love the fact that you could take 10 different artists and one text and every single one of the artists will do like literally something different and that's oh my god oh, beautiful beautiful this is it i really hope that you enjoyed to stay with me for these 10 minutes i don't know i don't know how long it is but thank you so much for giving me your most precious coin your time coin and i will see you in the next one right bye bye